Today's Fast Thought is sponsored by CHFA, the Canadian Health Food Association. They host Canada's largest conference and trade show dedicated to all things natural, organic, and wellness. Next show is in Vancouver, March 30th to April 2nd. Retailers who register by March 3rd get a VIP package filled with perks. Head to chfanow.ca slash Vancouver to find out more. We'll be there. We hope to see you there too. I think it's okay. So if I think about when you like, I'm because I'm always like, tell me what's working for you. So like Aaron from Hush Blankets, he's like, I'm not going to gatekeep anymore. The thing that's working for us is custom is CRO conversion rate optimization. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, cool. Nothing else from him after that. I'm like, Hey, like we're all. So I think for me, if I was listening to this, I'd be like, tell me what's working for someone. Like, what are you trying? How are you trying to get through this? What have you done? Like where, you know, just tell me the truth of something that I can do. It's why I just commented on Trisha's post. You guys saw. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, thank you. Again. We did. Thank you. Cause I'm like, yeah. yo, I get it. You're not alone. Like yeah. you're just not alone. And like, um, Mark from true local, we went to see his, um, we went to see his talk and someone just asked him and they said, what should I do? And he literally said for true local, it's not one thing you have to pull. And you guys say this, but it's like, you got to pull different levers. I can't just rely on a true local partnership. We well, one are thing I think we talked about what we saw, you had a post yeah. <clears throat> not that long ago where you basically, uh, prior to the crying one. Yeah. Where you, it was more written. And I think you were talking so about your, your shit's on point. Shit. Eh? So, you know. Yeah. yeah, your shit's on point. Your shit's, oh, yeah. You know why? Because yeah. your shit's reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And I think sometimes what people, again, there's a lot of glossiness to to everything on the net, right? Yeah. And it's all, and I just call it, it's, it's a lot of bullshit. Like, <laughs> I would just rather fucking, I, I'd rather you cry or right. yell or swear or whatever it is, but just give me the honest goods. Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I know, I don't care about negativity. I don't care about, like, the mm -hmm. world is not full of fucking happiness and roses and rainbows for sure so just tell me that yeah i'll that so because you know why because if i understand that i can get to the rainbows and roses yeah but i'm going to step through a lot of shit first that's just how it sort of works for but sure. I, like you had a post where it was it was the point blank one it was this has gone wrong this is you know like bank and i'm like wow okay so so, so <laughs> no, i'm just good I'm, it's good i'm just going to insert because i i think all of this we should just include in the fast thoughts i'll cut out the I bits agree. that yeah, yeah. you've said but um, so if you're joining us, um, today's our fast thought and we've got Neha from switch grocer on and we freaking love this lady. She's amazing. Her and Brian are amazing. And we've just been talking, you heard Neha kind of, she didn't know she was doing it, but she was prefacing what we're going to talk about today, which is what works for people. I think we're, um, prior to hitting the record button, we were talking about how, February has shaped out to be a tough month for everybody, right? And I think everybody's feeling, the, you know, we're feeling, we're feeling pressure. We're feeling like things aren't working. They're not working fast enough. Like people aren't buying enough stuff. Like there are all these things going on. So we started talking about like what works, what really works, right? Um, and I think like, you know, to kind of get back to what we were talking about, like you, you were talking about just simple things like, like, you can't try, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. It seems like such a um, silly thing to be talking about. And yet it's true, right? Is you, you can't bet on one thing. You've got to be able yeah. to go out and, and have a couple of prongs that you're trying and banking on and, and then working through, right? Because otherwise you don't, you won't be able to kind of net out in strategy, right? So, yeah, man. Um, yeah. So, so I mean, the first thing yeah. is just feeling it, which is what, we were talking about right before yeah. this is there are times and Kenny was talking about my LinkedIn post. There are times I've gone under the blanket. Like I've gone under the blanket in my bed and I have frozen and said, Oh my gosh, not that I can't do this, but just, <clears throat> I don't want to do this right now. Right. So it, you know, and sometimes that's crying. Sometimes that's hiding. Sometimes that's scrolling TikTok. Sometimes that's, you know, just feeling the freeze. So yeah. I just want to say it has not been easy. The last year has not been easy. Um, I'm very lucky that we called you guys last year because we knew we needed help. And I think, I think especially right now, 
being insular is helping nobody. Mm. The solutions are not going to come from my mm -hmm. brain. It's not going to come from my last five years because everything's changed. So last year when we picked up the phone and we said, Hey, you know, I don't know. I got an email from you guys and I was like, let me work with you. You guys really peeled. And I'm just going back to this because you peeled our business. You like it's our business is like an orange and you peeled it. And then it was very harsh. Sorry. I love you guys. But it was hard to hear some of the things that you were saying of around profitability, mm -hmm. and around dependence on specific suppliers and around top line revenue and around our marketing costs when you were analyzing that. And and I'm an accountant. <laughs> it was, but it's my orange, right? But this it's your orange. orange. Yeah. It's my orange. Yeah. That's the difference. And you, yeah. you did it. And I just I kind of want to go back to that because um, you know, Trisha did a post today. Um, I and she talked about, she owns a bakery and she talked about this of just, she just needs help. She needs to outsource. She, there's other things that she needs to do and she needs to pull all these levers yeah. that you're thinking about. Yeah. So um, just feel the feeling first and then the ask for help for sure. Because I did that and I just don't feel so alone anymore. I know I can pick up the yeah. phone and call someone. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. the second part is the most, one of the most important. I think we were on the <clears throat> Hearts and Cards podcast and I think one of the things they were asking me was you know what advice like literally would you give and this is not even whether it's the kids in their you know like my kids are older than you you know you just got a baby still like my kids are older or whatever first thing i tell people the most important thing ask for help yeah. if you think you know it all that's the time you don't know much of anything like really and truly right ask for help ask for a check because <laughs> sometimes it just it's just a check-in yeah yeah. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. It's like a wellness check, right? right? Like, it is, because like, you never know where you're at, yeah. but it's hard to know what you don't yeah. know. And really, like your example of the orange, it's hard to see the inside of your orange, right? Because your your view is your view, right? Where we come in, or it doesn't matter who it is. I don't care who comes in. Typically, an outsider will come in, and they'll see it for probably a lot closer to what it actually is, yeah, not what you hope it to be, yeah, right? And you can get to the hope, but you got to see it for what it is before you get to the hope. I, I think the the other thing I was at I would add to that is when you're choosing help, just make sure that you're choosing. There's times when you need like full blown out processes, and then there are times when you just need to cut to the chase and figure it out, right? Like, and what we're seeing, I think right now, what we're seeing in February is people going, "Listen, like, I don't really have time." You know, like i i need I need some insight now so i know what to do next and so i okay. think you're looking for people that can kind of go look I, there doesn't need to be a process we don't need to go through eight different documents to do this what i need from you is some key indicators i need to learn the business quick and then right like because i think that was part of the charm with working with you is we were able we knew you well enough to say you don't need to walk us through everything right what we need to know is here's some key docs that we need to read let us go away and digest it and then come back and then give you what we see. Right. And then there's like some trust there that, you know, we, we knew we were giving you some bad news, but we also trusted that you wanted it too. Right. So I feel I you think, wanted the honesty. You want yeah, to see what you want. If you, yeah. Otherwise why ask anybody? For sure. Like if you don't yeah. want the truth and don't, <laughs> don't ask, right. Well, yeah, yeah. questions you ask, yeah, I always yeah. tell the people, be careful yeah. what you ask. Cause if you're going to yeah. ask it, I'm assuming you want an answer. You may not like yeah. the answer you get. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So there's a couple of things that you, I love that in this fast thought, I'm telling everybody what you recommended. <laughs> I know, this is not the point of the fast thought. <laughs> Which not wasn't the be, point of us. It's not supposed to be a pitch. Yeah. No, 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 it's not a pitch, but yeah. let's let's do it, which is, okay, so if, if I'm in a position right now where if my revenue is declining, yeah. and so I need to kind of secure the future, I need to do some long-term yeah. things because it's going to be a tough year, but I also need to do some short-term things. So the short-term things, which we worked through were number one, we went back to a bunch of our key suppliers and we had very honest conversations about pricing. Is there anything they could do? Is there anything they could do in terms of if we increased our volume, if we did, if we kept, mm -hmm, or right. could they add samples? Could, what can they do for us that would help us? Um, we also had to increase our prices. So yeah. We worked with Kenny to say which some of the products would we would increase pricing. Um, how do we do that? So getting more margin, increasing pricing, 
Um, we had to delist some brands, which was very difficult for Switch. We love all the brands we've carried, but if we're not moving some of the brands, we have to make a call because cash is tied up in inventory. Right. So we had to free up cash flow. Um, and then on the cost side, we really, on the last six months, we have gone very hard on costs. And this is very difficult because you don't want to cut too much because then as a founder, yeah. you're doing everything and you're up all night. Because my Brian's intention, Brian, my co-founder and my husband, his is don't cut because then him and I are going to be up all night, right. right? Mine is cut everything and I'll work every, I'll work all night. So we kind of have ended up in the middle. Where, which is we need to do some cutting. We looked at all, every single cost, like went through a p &L. what can go, any software, anything that could go has gone and we had to do it. Um, so that's what we did. Uh, the third thing that has carried us is email marketing, which is email marketing for us is our best bet at reaching mm -hmm. our customers, mm -hmm. getting sales, offering you know bundles testing different things i've sent a birthday email out where people have given us feedback um really important to stay on top of email marketing um we've also kept our live show going which is our weekly live show if we do nothing else and have a bad week we i always show up on my live show and i cook something i interview someone it's called the switch grocery weekly tasting show um there's an email that goes out a text that goes out it's a mm -hmm. touch point with our customers right. mm -hmm. and also like it just keeps me um i'm gonna try to articulate this it keeps me motivated and inspired right. and that's really important as a founder right now because there's so much bad shit coming at you every day yeah. you need to find something where you're like oh i'm talking to my customers thank god like i'm yeah. I, like this is why i did this right if i can't find that touch point and if i skip a show a week i can tell that I'm getting more kind of in the vortex of numbers and suppliers and all of that stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so those are my quick kind of things that we have done for the short term. How do you, so let me ask you this, because I think it's important is as you're cutting, right? Um, how did, was there a formula or how did you guys pick things that you kept and things that you discarded? Do you know what I mean? Like, because, because there's, there is a push and pull. Right. And so yes. um, like Kenny and I are an unhealthy balance because the two of us will work the crap out of anything to get it done. And it's a, it's a bad thing, right? Cause the two of us together basically could mean that we never sleep. Like Kenny wakes up early at the West end. I don't go to sleep till late at the East, you know, like, so, <laughs> so well, we, we could do, do this sides. all day. We do both yeah, sides. Yeah. I don't go to, I mean, I work on spreadsheets till two in the yeah, morning. Yeah. Yeah. So, I so mean, how really sense, do, is there a chemistry to like how you guys figure that out? Or is it just kind of like eyeballing things as you go? Um, I think it's the, the thing that has had the least impact on the business and the thing that we can do most easily and gives us energy while we do it. Mm. So for example, if we cut an app and the app does something for us, um, but we have an easy workaround and also it's not, okay. I'll, I'll try to articulate this. There's some tasks that as a founder, when you do, they give you energy. And there's some tasks that as a founder <laughs> that, you do that take your energy. Right. Yes. So anything that gives us energy, I can cut. Anything that takes energy, or I can do better and faster. If I can do something better, faster than an app, than a person, then, and it gives me energy, like that's just a win-win. Like it's, remove yeah, that. Yeah, it's fun to do. And yeah, get rid know, of that I can do it and I don't need to pay for it. And it's not it. easy. Of course, it's not easy. Yeah. But that those are the decisions. Like somebody told me, actually, at some point, if you're not willing to cut costs, you shouldn't be in business. Exactly. <laughs> it's that's just how it is. The business at the end of the day has to survive. And I always think about that motivating factor of like, we have vendors, we have suppliers, we have employees, like we have contractors, there's a whole thing here that mm -hmm. we need to save over mm -hmm. one specific cost. Um, the things that suck my energy those are the ones that we really try not to cut. And sometimes Brian even says, if we cut this cost, um, I'd rather shut down the business. Right. Because that would suck your energy so much. You'll hate all the other things too. You'll just hate everything. I'll hate everything. So that's how I decide now. It's more just, especially right now, it's all about protecting, to be honest, it's very much about protecting how I feel. 
If I feel strong, if I feel good, if I feel energized, I can stay up till two o'clock. But if I'm like staying up till two o'clock, bitter, do something you dread, angry, yeah. you wake up angry, go to sleep angry. What the hell are you doing this for? What am I doing this for? So really, like this is to supposed to be fun, right? There is a, there's <laughs> supposed to be an element of fun in this. Absolutely. Tough, you know, tough work doesn't have to be unfun. It just means it's tough work. Yeah. But like you have some fun. It, we, ha we have to. And even <clears> trying <throat> to make it fun of, hey, like we could be like our revenue is declining. Oh my God. Or our revenue is declining. This is my whole self-talk of, okay, this is a problem I need to solve. That kind mm -hmm. of separates me personally from right. it a bit mm -hmm. of like, oh, it's a problem. I need to mm -hmm. solve a problem. Who can I call? Maybe I'll give Kenny a call today. <clears throat> Kenny, right. 15 minutes. Uh, here are my ideas. What do you think? Shoot them down or what do you think? You know, but that's when you got to go back to what we said even originally. Find people, find help. Yeah. Like For you sure. can't do things on your own. I mean, your life just doesn't work that way. You just, in anything in life, you just need people. Like even with the kids, like if you're trying to raise the kids, you ask other parents. Yeah. If you have a pet, what's, you know, you ask, how's your pet react to this or how does it, like whatever it is, you have to, you got to find yeah. people. I mean, that's, yeah. that's part of this. Plus why do it alone? It, it is it's kind of fun to bring people into your world and see what okay, they but think. Sometimes I think if you're like me, sometimes I feel guilty calling people because I'm like, they also sell their time for money and it's hard. I'm just being honest. Like, yeah, that's but you yep. have to find, yeah. you find the ones that, that balance that out too. Totally. And I think that's why you need to be okay. You need to be okay to say that hey, a first call is never, a first call or one call is never a big deal. You know, yeah. like I offered Trisha, I was like, call me for an hour. I, yeah. you know, if there's someone that's going yeah. through something, some people have done that for me. Yep. So I really, really, like if I, like I sent out three cold emails um, over the last week and I've had responses to none of them. Um, one was to a past supplier who's now since moved on, two suppliers who've since moved on. And I wanted mm -hmm. to find out I said, hey, guys, we're going through a transition with Switch Grocery. Would love to kind of get some ideas. Both of them have not responded mm. because they're busy. So next week, I'll follow up and I'll say, hey, do you have some times? Here's some times. I'm going to make mm -hmm. it really easy for them and say, mm -hmm. here's some times. Here are the specific things I want to talk about because I value your time. And I bet you they'll write back. Probably. Yeah, it's, you... a lot, it's a lot cleaner. I know what you want. Now. Yeah. Because yeah. there's yeah. nothing worse than thinking, fuck, I don't mind phoning her. I don't mind helping her, but like, is this going to be three hours? Is this right. like 10 yeah, minutes? Yeah, like, yeah. what does she yeah, want? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Right. Cause I mean, I don't mind going down the rabbit hole with her, but you know, when, and, and what, what, what are we talking about? Yeah. Or, you know what? I don't want to do this at all. And on the third time when you get no response, you'll, you know, you figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I'll try different palms. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, I, everybody's busy. Like people yeah. are busy. I get that, but absolutely. I think you just got to hey. keep fishing, keep throwing the <laughs> line in the water. Something's going to bite. Totally. But I think that if, if I messaged you, Kenny, and I said, Kenny, this is my problem. I'm very can busy. I, get, I have no time I, for you right now. Can I get 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> but Absolutely. you're more likely to respond to that than. Yeah. I'll be I, honest with you. I think that's the thing. In, I'll in be, the, find somebody who will tell you the truth. Yeah, yes. I have no time for you this week. Yeah. Next Tuesday, I've got time. Right. But that's also, you got to find the people that will tell you. Like you got it. This is a. It's not a complicated game per se. Be honest with people; they'll be honest with you. Right to your point. If you go with a vague thing, oh, I'm looking for help. Someone's thinking, I ain't fucking answering that. I don't know what rabbit hole this is going down. Like, seriously, this could be a trillion hours. It really could. Right. Be. I need X X X. Yeah, I can manage that. She needs 15 minutes. So maybe it's if right now, and I'll say this: if this can help someone, it's identifying the question. Yeah, figure so, out what you want to yeah. ask. So yeah. I can show you our board. On the top, we have board, and it says our revenue has declined. And then on the right side, I put, I can't really see it, but I put, what do I need to solve this problem? Is it time? Is it skill? Is it money? And then I put down the names of all our employees and contractors. Yeah. And then I put, here's the current marketing we do. And the, this blank board is for a founder meeting with me and Brian today. Right. So we're going to go through and say, all phones off, all computer off. Yeah, let's focus for a bit. Our revenues declined. What is it? What's our, what's our question? Right. So this is the thing of like identifying mm. what is the question mm -hmm. before you get into. Is the question, I'd, is the question, 
I'd like to increase my revenue more. I'd like to find different sources of increasing my revenue. Then I would say, cool, I need to put down every single solution that's in my head. Community partnerships, right. uh, you know, app, digital ads. Uh, there's uh, There was another one that I, oh, uh, sponsorships, like anything. Yeah. The discounts from suppliers to increase margin. Throw it all on there. Um, that's our plan today, which is we're just going to throw it right. all. Everything goes on that board. Um, but identifying the question is really important. Otherwise, what are you talking to people about? Yeah. Well, and that's why people won't respond. Right. Is because they'll sit there. It's and say, too open ended. I, 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 How I don't will know they know where this is going to go. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't. This could be literally five minutes or five hours. Right. Because the, the question that you're asking is just too vague. Like, what are you what are you asking? Like, literally, what are you asking? Right, because if you had sent it to us our revenues down, well, the first thing we would probably ask you, so where? Like, are you saying down because there's no new customers right. and your existing customer base is still strong? Or like, what is it? So at least I can we can hone in on something. Yeah. And if you don't have that answer, we'd say, okay, go back and find that first. Like, find out what you're asking. Your revenues down is a statement, it's not a question. Mm -hmm. That's great. I, but I don't know what that means. Like everything's down like is it a specific area is it a line like like yeah narrow it down yeah. for us so i can i can sort of help you out, figure out what the hell you're doing yeah otherwise it's just yeah okay great i'm sorry <laughs> all right yeah. this is our fast thought thank you so much thank you you're thank welcome you. guys i loved it yeah no thank you let me see.